Adam Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog here at Kicks96Country.com. Our guest returning to Kicks Country Yay. is Sarah Beth. How are you? I'm good. Happy New Year. Well, that's so official, like a handshake. Well, I mean, all right, well, come here. <laughs> hey, yeah. Happy New Year. I'm so happy. <laughs> that just seemed a little, you know, but, you know, hey, it's okay. It's, it's uh, good. 2016 yeah. uh, is going to be a big year for you. That's now, the plan. I'm kind of starting in the middle because you've met Sarah Beth before. She's been here before. Hi. Uh, I believe kicking and screaming was our first ever it was. visit. Look at with you. this. It says, I saw this. Keep on kicking and screaming. And you have. You yeah. still are. We're still kicking. We're still <laughs> screaming. Uh, usually because people are picking on us. But, you know, we won't talk about that. Um, we're going to go forward with, with Sarah Beth. All right. So uh, you're coming off of a, of a, of a, of a hit single uh, already. I'm sick of it. All right. Did yeah, very well. It did. Uh, Thanks on... for playing it. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> right, we, we like to play good music. And you've come to us with a new one, you know, uh, Running Out of Lipstick. Yes. All right. And this is all off the, the current album. So talk it to is. us a little bit about the EP. Yeah. So my new EP is self titled. Well, I guess it's not so much new anymore, but my latest EP, uh, it's all self titled. I wrote all the songs on there, which was the first time that's ever happened for me. Mm -hmm. uh, normally I've had outside songs come to me and so it sounds really cliche, but I thought, people say, I've grown as an artist. And I feel like with this EP, it was the first time I really understood what that meant. It just, you know, you can see where you're more creative or things, you're beginning to kind of find your voice mm -hmm. in your own music, which is a cool feeling. And you don't, it's not like I had an aha moment. It's just kind of all came together, which yeah. is slowly but surely really cool. Well, now, this project brought you uh, in with uh, some other very talented uh, co-writers, like yeah. uh, uh, Glenn Mitchell, who's here, and um, we'll be playing with her a little later in, in another video you'll, you'll see. Uh, also, Gwen Sebastian, I think. Yeah. Uh, you've been saying, well, you may have, you may remember Gwen Sebastian from yes. NBC's The Voice. Uh, so, did, did working with uh, these other songwriters, uh, when you when you talk about growing and evolving as right. an artist, did they did they pull something more out of you or, or how, I think so. how are those relationships built? It's it's interesting because every person that you songwrite with ha brings something different to the table. And so you learn how they write. You know, some people come up with words really easily. Some people come up with really cool melodies. Some people um, just are really good at talking. And then someone else in the room is really good at putting that into lyrics that fit the song. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of cool. And you get to see uh, there's something to learn from everybody. And mm -hmm. so... Everyone that I've written with, I try to learn as much as I can, um, and I, I try to you know stay on their level and and be really in it. But it's intimidating sometimes. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, so <laughs> as far as this album now, right. with new co-writers and 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 growing and, and changing a little bit of yourself, um, what would you say is the the best thing about this project that you like as opposed to things that you you've already done? It's like okay, what what is the mm -hmm. best new thing about Sarah Beth in this project? I love the energy that the songs bring, mm -hmm. um, and all my, I mean, I've had energetic songs in the past, but it's just brought a whole new element to the live show, so mm -hmm. I love, like, just having a lot of attitude and having a lot of fun on stage, and, and a lot of these songs are just really rocking, and so it brings that element um, to the live show, which, again, is really cool when you can say, I wrote this song. Yeah. You know, it's not just a cover song that you're rocking out to, it's actually something that's on your album that you, you wrote. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sick of it, obviously, it was like a very driving to <laughs> yeah uh now the current single uh running out of lipstick is uh -huh. mid-tempo yes, it um it's it's not slow it's not a ballad i don't consider it a ballad yeah. but uh tell us a little bit what that song's about um that song is it's kind of like me and i would probably say gwen too when we were writing it we were just kind of talking you know glenn was in the room as well but he doesn't really relate to putting on lipstick and black really? dresses well no. no lipstick <laughs> oh, it's okay <laughs> but we'll, we were... we'll, we'll get to that we were talking about how we actually were talking about how on the road you know you you're you always have to have hair and makeup done and you've got to be in your outfit and you've got to be kind of not in character, but you know, you're, you're, that's your job. You're there to perform. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking about sometimes you just are, you know, you're dressed down. You, you really enjoy that. That's what spurred it. But then it turned into just like, well, in everyday life though, whenever you're talking about it, you know, I do enjoy sweatpants. I don't, I put my hair in a ponytail. I'm not the most glamorous person. Uh, but it's when you go out for date night, you know, you have that special person that you really want to look nice for and you really mm -hmm. want to dress up and wear that black dress and impress that person. <laughs> well, since your first visit, since Kicking and Screaming yeah. all the way to the new EP, the self-titled, um, you I know more than just you growing as an artist, you've grown your fan base. Uh, and you are very, very, very active on social media. I am. Um, so... Uh, your your presence on social media, Twitter, Facebook, even right. Periscope, uh, in the last year, I've seen so many Periscope videos of you. That is just all a part of uh, of, of sort of like the, the Sarah Beth um, 
uh, experience, you know? Yeah. And one of the things that we had fun with Sarah Beth earlier this year, or last year, was uh, she was in, you were in the UK. I was. All right. And you're actually about to hit another UK tour. I am, you? yes. So talk to us a little bit about going overseas and oh, playing so for cool. folks over there. It's so cool. It's, uh, it's you know, music fans are music fans wherever they are. And uh, I'm really fortunate and lucky to be able to have uh, a fan base over there that allows me to come and tour. Mm -hmm. And we did 12 shows in August. And uh, we'll be going back and doing 10, possibly 12 shows again in August, 10 mm -hmm. for sure. And so it's just really cool. A lot of people ask, what's what's the difference? And I always say it's just the accent, you know, people loving music and singing your songs. And it's it's cool. And you get to sightsee and do some touristy stuff while you're there. Mm -hmm. So are now, are, what parts of the UK are you going to probably, like, you know, England, you know, maybe It'll Scottish? It'll be England and Scotland for sure. Sadly, we won't get to Northern Ireland on this trip. I would love to, but we won't. Um, and then we probably won't get to Wales. We'll get close, but it'll be, it's kind of all over. Literally, we're in London, we're in Glasgow, we're in Manchester, we're um, in the south, uh, down in Winchester, mm -hmm. we're in Exeter, which is over towards the west. We try to hit as many places as we can, um, but you know, at the end of the day, I could spend half a year there and, and finally maybe hit every city, but it's hard. Sarah Beth, our international country music ambassador, <laughs> going abroad and bringing, bringing the gospel of country music to yes. people all over the world. And uh, once again, uh, you can find her on Twitter. It's uh, uh, at SB Swags. SB, yes, at SB Swags. I was going to say it's like Swags is kind of a nickname. For yes, you, it? it is. Um, and of course, Facebook. You can find her and Periscope. Find her on Periscope. Periscope. Find so, me. All right. So and uh, Sarah Beth. Dot com, sorry about the music. Sarah Beth Beth music. Sarah Beth music. Com. Music. You're up on your stuff. Hey, you know what? I had <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of coffee this morning, and uh, <laughs> and I did that because in anticipation because she's a big coffee. What is with you and coffee? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I came in, the stuff I have right now is really bad, but I'm <laughs> drinking it. Like, people are always like, so how do you like it? I'm like, I think it's just like an addiction. Like, I don't know. Like, I just drink it black a lot of times, too. So, it's I'm on the road a lot. It keeps me away. Basically, it's something to do. It's she not loves water. it when fans send her coffee. So, send Sarah Beth coffee. And, you know, with like, this is like courtesy of Fletch. Sarah Beth so thank you for yeah. being here. It's good to see I you. I know. Good to see we'll you. We'll see you again soon. Me. If you want to hear the <laughs> single running out of lipstick, call us at Kicks96. We'll be happy to play it for you. Please do. Uh, and look for live videos of uh, of Sarah Beth and Glenn playing here on, on other on uh, on another video. And we'll see you next time on another video blog of Kicks96Country.com.